All right, smack dab here in the middle of mud season in the Midwest, and it's raining outside. So I figure it's a perfect day to back my trailers in and check over the bearings, make sure everything's going good. What we got here, we got a 20 plus year old car trailer that I've had for forever, and I got it up on jack stands, and I'll show you how I check out the bearings. All right, here we go. First thing I like to do, spin it, see if there's any abnormal noises or anything weird going on. Then I check at the 12.6 and the 3.9 position, see if there's any excessive play. Everything seems to check out. All right, now we'll take this wheel off. All right, now we got the tire off. Got the hub here, we take our little screwdriver. All right, well, you don't want to mangle this thing. So you just kind of work it off. All right, that part's off. Now, we got this thing on here. Scientific term for it is thingamajig. Replaces the cotter key that would go through the hole. Same principle, it's got a little flat spot. Goes into the flat spot, <laughs> keeps the nut from turning loose. All right, so then you're gonna spin your nut off. Boy, I heard a joke the other day about bearings. Uh, they took a, a, a monkey, an engineer, and a mechanic, and they stuck them each in a room with three ball bearings. And they had a camera on them to watch to see what would happen. And then they went in to check on them after like a like an hour. And the monkey had taught himself how to juggle. And he was juggling the three ball bearings. The engineer was all frustrated as get out because he was trying to stack the ball bearings on top of each other. And they wouldn't, so they kept falling. And then they go in by the mechanic. And he had broke one of the b ball bearings. He would lost one of the ball bearings. And he would shoved the last one in his lunchbox. <laughs> if you're a mechanic, you, you know what, you know what that, that's about. Or why it's funny anyhow. All right, you wiggle that off. And you got this washer. Okay? There's always a washer right behind that nut on here. All right, we're gonna get the the first spinner out of here. All right. Take the first bearing out. I always like to do an initial look to know if I'm gonna have to run out and buy new ones. But uh, you won't really know what you got going on until you clean them up with some solvent. All right, we got that bearing out of there. Ugh. All right. That is off. Boy, that spider had an exciting life, or end of it anyhow. <laughs> All right, we got this off. Now we'll uh, do with it. All right. Well, first off, we gotta get this other bearing out of here. So, we got this fancy old tool. High tech, I know. All right. Now, is this on camera? Yep. Oh, man. I didn't eat my Wheaties this morning, apparently. All right, now we get this off. Now what do we do? Well, we're gonna need a new one, right? We ain't beating this thing back in there. So we take our little micrometer, roll her up, take our measurement there, all right? So then we write that down, okay? Then we adjust our camera. <laughs> Make sure the thing's in the, in the roll, and then you adjust and you take the measurement right here, right? And you write that down, and then you go to your local parts store, and they'll have you know, the, the inside measurement, and then the outside measurement, and then you pick whatever brand of seals you want, and you bring them home, voila. All right. So after we got that seal out of there, we're gonna take the other spinny, spinny thing out. Make sure it's not missing any parts. Nothing hanging off of it. All right, that looks good too. We'll have to go clean that. And then while we hit, we're here, we might as well clean this off, right? Make sure the brakes look okay, which everything does. All right, we'll give them a quick spray down. So, it has time to evaporate while we clean the other parts. All right. Oh, brake clean, good, smell good, feel good. <laughs> All right, and we look at this, make sure there's nothing blue, discolored, chipped, scratched, turning pink, turning yellow, turning green. I've never seen any of those colors. I've seen blue though, blue ain't good. <laughs> All right, then the same thing with uh, inside of here. So basically I'll go and I'll clean this out, get all that old grease out of there, and then what I'll do is I'll wipe new grease in there, and how much you ask? Well, a guy doesn't want to go any much deeper than uh, the height of the bearing races is usually what I do. You don't want to put big gobs of grease in here or anything like that. Usually I just do a nice coating, usually about the height of the back of the bearing races, max. You know, a little less, a little more. Never really had any problems doing it that way. All right, so clean it out, and then a guy puts new grease in there, right? And then even on the shaft, I'll put a light coating of grease, which I'll show you. Well, I'm gonna go clean these bearings out. I'm gonna use brake clean, spray them out, wipe them down with a rag and get them nice and clean so I can take a look at these. 
Now for the fun part. Ooh, we get to take the grease. All right. So what I like to do, I know. Why ain't I wearing gloves? Well, how am I gonna grow any hair on my butt if I wear gloves all the time? I mean, come on now. Okay, I put gob in my hand, right? Take my berry and I kind of hold it like this. And then I just kind of work it around in a circle, kind of pressing down. Okay, that takes a couple times. But eventually, as you start going around, as you're pressing it, you'll see grease start to squeeze out in between this inner piece and this outer piece. It may take a couple times. Oh, I'm starting to see some. All right. You see how it's the dirty grease yet? Ooh, I must have not did that good a job of cleaning her. You don't tell and I won't tell. You can see how it's got the nice little pattern as it's squeezing out around them bearings. Rollers, whatever you want to call them. Alright, now I like to spin it a couple times. Smear some around the outside. Just have a good time with it. I mean, if you're not going to have a good time with it, you might as well just pay someone to do it, right? Unless you're like me, and you're poor. <laughs> Alright, now it's pretty much every time I'm uh, putting it to the grease, I got grease squeezing out. So that means it's packed. Alright, so every time when you're making your movement, alright, I'll wipe some off, see if we can show you. Well, it made a liar out of me. Oh, there it goes, see? See how it squeezed out there? All right, enough talking about that. That one's done. Hey. So, what we'll do with this one, get some of this excess grease off of here, is we'll put it in its home right away. And its home is right in there. Woo! Should I put the seal in right away? Is the camera aimed good? Ah! We'll do the seal. Seals are fun. Oh. Alright, now when it comes time for the seal, we take our new shiny seal, we set it down in there, we take this highly specialized tool, and we tap it in. Flush is good. Tight is right. There we go. Seal installed, bearings in there. Everything looked good, I checked. There was no discoloring of the bearing or anything anything crazy. Now we'll flip this upside down so I ain't gobbing grease down in it. And we'll get that other bearing ready. Oh, we need more grease. Yep, another one of them activities that is more fun than stealing a bucket of bananas from a barrel of monkeys. Yeah, this one's a little smaller, so she should pack a little quicker, eh? And she's packing up pretty good right now. So we'll spin her around a couple times. All right. Do another little pack, make sure she's packed good. Ooh, she's looking good. She is looking good. Ooh, man. Just like downtown. All right, we'll set this off to the side. I'll wipe this grease off my hands, and we'll throw this drum on there. Notice we got a thin film of grease on the shaft. Okay. And we're going to take this, being careful not to smack it against the, the seal. We shove that on there. Oh, I didn't even show you the inside. What? I'm going to have grease on there. But that's how much grease I put inside of there, if you can see that. Not a ton, but enough. Okay. Wow, you got a double take of putting a drum on. How lucky. <laughs> All right, now we're going to take this bearing. Shove the bearing in. Okay, now we're going to get our washer. Okay, I wipe, wipe the old junk off the washer, slide the washer on, wipe the old junk off the nut, put the nut on. Alright, what I like to do with these, I like to crank them pretty tight to take all the, the slack out. Okay, and then I back off and just go slightly snug. And it's good to be spinning that way you do it. So, so tight, then back off, and then slightly snug. Okay, then you're going to want to take your clip, and you go to stick your clip on, right? Okay, and if you need to move it at all to get your clip on, you want to loosen it. Ah! Okay. So, what do we got to do here? There. 
golden. Of course, I got a mess, mess of grease on the outside from my greasy hands. Oh, all right. Then we want to take our cap and tap our cap back on. And if the grease on the hub bothers you, spray it off. <laughs> oh, we're out. We're out of brake clean. That's depressing. All right, I tagged it onto the impact, but as you can see, I got a green torch stick on there. All right, now this thing's supposed to stop it at about 80 foot-pounds. Now, after I drop this thing down, I'll still use a regular torque wrench to torque them to spec. All right, once you have the lugs on and tight, you want to spin it, make sure there's no weird, crazy noises. Check the, the play. There's always going to be a little bit. You just want to make sure you didn't uh, screw up and get anything crazy. And this one checks out pretty good. All right, it's on the ground. Onto the next trailer.